People who are just a little bit rich fly first class when they travel. If you have a lot of money, you can rent a private jet. When you have a lot of money, you can fly on a private jet with your name painted on the wings. When you are a multi-billionaire Saudi prince, you can fly on a customized $500 million Airbus A380 that is so luxurious it will blow your mind. In today's video, let's take a look inside Saudi Prince Al Walid bin Talal's Airbus A380. Welcome to your channel, Luxury Empire. Now without any more delay, let's dive into the video. Prince Al Walid bin Talal Al Saud ordered the Airbus ACJ380-800 or the Flying Palace in October 2007 after seeing an Airbus A380 at the Dubai Air Show. The plane was briefly called Prestige. At the time, Airbus thought there was a market for private A380s. They even thought they could sell at least a dozen to people like the Prince. Prince Al Walid already owned an Airbus 321, a Hawker Siddeley 125, and a private version of a Boeing 747. He owned one of the world's largest and most luxurious mega yachts, the Kingdom 5KR. The Prince likes nice things, so it was clear that he would jump at the chance to be the first customer for an A380 conversion. After the deal was signed, the Prince worked with Edise Dore, Industrial Design and Design Q, to create one of the most spectacular interiors to date, or ever. The plane would have three levels and amenities that have never been seen before, which gave it the name Flying Palace. The cargo hold would be turned into a garage and a place for health and wellness. One or two of the Prince's favorite cars would be kept in the garage. These cars could be driven right off the tarmac, also, a glass-walled elevator went between the three decks and all the way down to the tarmac, where a red carpet would automatically roll out. In an interview with the Daily Mail, the designer said that the idea was to make it look like the prince had just arrived at the Oscars. There was a real marble floor in the Turkish bath, just like in a mansion in the spa area. The only difference was that because of weight, the tiles were thinner than in a mansion. Parts of the floor in the wellness area were huge TV screens that got their pictures from high-definition cameras placed under the plane. So, guests could relax while imagining themselves flying like Superman or Superwoman and breathing in a scented breeze. On the second level, there was a business center as well as the cockpit and facilities for the crew. There would be two VIP suites for guests and two conference rooms with holographic tables that could project holograms of business partners who weren't on board. A prayer room and a concert hall with a stage. Advanced sound and room for 10 people were also available. The third deck was the private owner's deck. It had a lounge, a dining room, and five master bedrooms, each with its own large bathroom. As mentioned above, the elevator connected to three decks, but there was also a golden staircase wrapped around it in case guests wanted to see the views inside. The prince made sure that his seat in one of the lounges was a throne so that even his lucky guests wouldn't forget where they were. The layout was made for only 50 guests and the plane would be upgraded so that it could fly 17,500 kilometers further than the commercial version, 9,400 nautical miles. The whole project was said to have cost between $380 million and $500 million, and as the 2009 deadline came and went without being met, it took on the air of a legend. Features were added and each one was more impressive than the last. Eventually, the Flying Palace got a stable for horses, a pen for hawks, and electronic mats that turned themselves so that you could pray facing the right direction. The plane never got made. Forbes said that the prince himself encouraged rumors about how much it would cost, which was a funny way to try to move up on their list of billionaires. In reality, he bought a test flight version of the A380 serial number 002, for $130 million, which is more than half of what he would have to pay for a new one. He was